on this beach where they just wash up it with the tide and then they either get melted by the sun or just basically pounded by the waves and gradually they vanish and every day you come back there's like a new set of icebergs to photograph. One of the challenges of capturing this kind of place is just knowing where to frame your photo because there's so much happening, even though it's still and everything's happening very slowly, there's still so much to see visually and it just means that your eyes kind of keep looking everywhere, looking for the right photo. But actually, if you take your time, and I always say this on my um, videos, if you just take your time spend some time in the place, just absorb it. It helps you to begin to see the right compositions to capture the best photos. And it just requires, you know, some time looking around, breathing it in, kind of enjoying it really, not just coming to just shoot it, but coming to actually soak up the atmosphere. And then you start to see compositions and start to see light and where the light's traveling from, begin to see where the clouds, you know, what, what, what they're doing, which way they're stretching. And, I really like this huge piece of lava here because I think it just adds a little bit of extra to the front of the shot. There's another piece just over there as well. And these larger ones are just helping to build the photo just to give it that framing. Because you've got to be aware of all the different layers that you're building into the photo. And you want the person's eye to be drawn to the, you know, the right part of the shot. Up there we've got what's remained, what's um, left of, uh, of the snows, which are quite interesting as well. It's just so much to look at. I mean, look at this landscape. It's just otherworldly. That's two hours sleeping to the sound of the waves. And I think it's time to move on to the next location. The tide's come in. There's this incredible church in the distance there, just in front of the glacier. And these purple flowers are making a huge difference to the foreground. So we're hoping we can get a shot. Let's have a look. Wow, look at all these, all this purple flowering. That's amazing. This field of purple flower, I don't know what it's called, but it's creating such a beautiful foreground. You can see in the distance there, this church is just positioned perfectly in front of the glacier. And I'm using a 150 mil telephoto lens to really focus on the church. And I'm at f11 and I'm just allowing the glacier to kind of slightly drift into the background and but also provide a lot of foreground interest with these these purple flowers 
because you wouldn't see these any other time of year. And so I'm just blurring them slightly, but it does create a really, really beautiful foreground. Look at this beach. We've got mountains, the snow, black volcanic sand. Look at it. Just amazing. Okay, so oh, that's our house over there isn't it, by the red car on the, on the bottom floor. That wasn't snowy. And <laughs> we're just about to go out to Husavik, but there's some kind of blizzard happening. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to get a hood, Joe. Yeah. Oh. So, anyway, I'm going to. Oh my goodness! 